first sparked on 2009. It began in Victoria and on the 7th of February. After the bushfire has stopped, there were consecutive days of extreme temperature. This heat wave has been known to be one of the worst in Victoria's history. The bushfire was caused by arson, by a person named Brendan Sakala, power lines, machinery and lightning. The person who committed arson claimed that he threw out a lit cigarette which began the fire. The day that the bushfire started shows on the graph that it was 46.2 degrees in Melbourne. Three days before the beginning of the bushfire, Melbourne suffered a terrible heat wave that rose up to 43 degrees. This humidity helped the bushfire to burn more. My name is Mike Hunt. I am a scientist. Northwest winds brought the heat from Central Australia to Victoria, resulting in a more deadly bushfire. The storm also helped create a more worse fire, while the winds brought down power lines, erupting power to start a powerful fire. As the day moved on, the fire and heat rose even greater. Thousands of volunteers helped and provided shelter for the survivors and families of victims in the bushfire. The government also announced that a royal commission would come to look into the disaster but had said that the emergency services had done the best they could. The government of Papua New Guinea had donated $2 million to help fund the repairment. There were many brave volunteers who risked their lives providing support to put an end to the bushfire. Some people had decided to stay and protect their homes, unfortunately it resulted in their deaths. More than 19,000 CFA members were involved in the fire fighting and support. The distribution of $700 million to the thousands of victims was approved by the Supreme Court of Victoria. However, the victims of the bushfire were very disappointed when the Supreme Court of Victoria only provided them with money and no further support. An effort involving 1,000 volunteer hours was spent to replant over 4,000 trees by community groups. Over 80 hectares of former farmland has been revegetated to help their recovery. The park staff had said it would take two to three years to finish the revegetation project.